Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? Very well. Excellent. And what did you do today? And well, I, I was studying uh, and in the morning. I was in classes. In the afternoon, I, I was uh, doing the homework, right? So all day I was studying. Okay, good. But uh, it's good, yeah. And what do you study, Cesar? Uh, geophysics. Geophysics? Uh, Okay, it's very unusual, it's not normal. Where do you study, Cesar? I'm sorry, I, I have a problem with my connection, so could you repeat? Yes, uh, where do you study? Uh, at the University of El Salvador. Oh, okay. I didn't know yeah. they had this career. Okay, great. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not very common. <laughs> no, 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 not too common, but good. All right. So this is what we're going to do. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get to know each other a little bit, right? My name is Edwin, and I'm going to be the teacher of this module. Before we begin, I'm going to explain a little bit about the module, the grades, the assignment, the different activities. In this module, we have five sections, okay? And we are going to complete section one, two, and three in two weeks. This week and next week, we're gonna complete section one, two, and three. To pass to the next level, you need to have a grade of 80. This means that the normal grade has to be 80 or more, okay? Now, if you have one low grade, it's no problem. It's the average. If you want, you can repeat and then do again, okay? This is the idea for the 80. In this level, we also have two exams. We have the first exam after unit three, okay? This is unit one, two, and three. And then we're going to have the first exam. Then we're gonna have the second exam after unit five, okay? And in here, again, is going to be all of the lessons. One, two, three, four, and five. These are the two exams, okay? The class is going to finish June 23rd. June 23rd is the last day. Classes are from Monday, from Monday through Thursday. There are no classes on Friday. Okay. So we have classes Monday through Thursday. It's okay, any questions in this moment? I don't know, but I was watching the date for the, uh, for the classes and, and it was programmed for two, to, the, uh, to the 28th, to the 28th. I don't know why, but uh, I was watching that. Yes. Of course, I can explain. The class is programmed to the 28th for administrative purposes, because if the class closed the 23rd, administration in support and others do not have access to the information in the platform. That's why for administrators, it is closed on the 28th, but for activities for the student, it closes on the 23rd. 
No, okay. So you have four weeks. This week, and then three more, and you finish the last class, June 23rd. Now I'm going to share a little bit with you to make sure that it's clear. Okay. So in this moment, this is intermediate module two. We have the five sections that I said, and we have the exam, the first exam when we finish section three, and we have the second exam when we finish section five. These are the all of the units. So this exam is going to be unit one, two, and three. And this exam is going to be unit one, two, and three again, and unit four and five. Okay. When you want to check your grades, you go here where it says progress. You click in the progress and you can see your homework, your activities, all of the things that you are doing for each section. When you begin to complete, you're going to see the grade or the record here, and it's going to show you 80 or no. In order to pass, you need to have 80% or more in the average. Any questions? No. Excellent. All right. So we're going to begin. Um, Cesar, can you please read the objective for unit one? Yes. In this lesson, participants will listen and practice a conversation between family members. Okay. That's the first one. So let's listen. And then with our partners, we're going to practice the conversation. Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. All right, so let's look at this conversation. First, is there any new vocabulary? And turn down. Turn down is to reduce. So the volume, no loud. Shh, soft. This is turn down, to be soft or quiet. Any other words? Speak up. Ah, pick up is like to collect. So you see the on the floor, they have the books, the bags, they need to pick up. They need to- I don't know. In, in the part B, uh, it's compliant. In part in B? In the part B. Complaints. Yeah, the pronunciation is complaints. complaints. Mm -hmm. Complaints are things that you don't like. So when you go to the restaurant and you say, I know this food is cold or the food too much salt, or this is complaints. Okay, are the other words okay? Hang up. Hang up? Yes. Hang up is the telephone to finish the phone call. This okay. is hang up. 
Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Okay, so now what are we going to do? Now with your partner, you are going to practice reading the conversation. And then we're going to try talking a little bit about it. Okay, so when you practice, the idea is to imitate. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV. No, Jason, Jason, turn down the TV. No, do you want to imitate the pronunciation? and the way the intonation is, okay? If you don't see it, I also put into the WhatsApp group. So also you can check in your WhatsApp group or with your partner, you can check in the platform, which is 1.2, or sorry, 1.1. Okay, so right now, we're going to do quickly, we practice one time one partner and the other one we switch the partners. That way we practice all of the conversation. Hello, Elmer. Elmer, can you listen? Can you hear? Can you speak? Yes, teacher. All right. So how are you, Elmer? Fine. Tell me, what do you do? Sorry for stay later. It's okay. What do you do, Elmer? Um, where do you work? I work um, to enterprise. I am accounting manager, finance. Okay. And where in Santa Ana, in San Miguel? I am, I am living in San Salvador and I work in San Salvador too. Okay, good. Do you like it, Elmer? Why? Do you like your job? Yes, I I like I love my my job. Great. Okay. In this moment, the partners are in the groups and they are practicing a conversation. We are in 1.2 and we completed listening to the conversation. Okay presentation 
so 1.2 here. So if you want, listen and read the conversation. Part verbs or phrasal verbs. Okay. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Okay. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. All right. But it's so, were there any words that you don't know, Elmer? No. No, it's okay? It's okay. All right, good. So, that's the idea. The idea was also in, to practice the conversation and then to make sure that we get it, okay? Okay. All right, we already practiced with the partners. They're going to come back and we're going to check. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. It's very loud. Okay. All right, let's take a, let's see how we did. You ready? All right. Let's see. Stephanie and Cesar, can you please read the conversation for us? Okay, teacher. Cesar, okay. and you okay. start or me? Uh, I'm going to start. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very low. Okay, you'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Uh, okay, Lisa, please pick up your things. They are all over the floor. In a minute, Mom, I am on the, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness. Were well, we like this when we were kids? Definitely. All right, very good. So here, we just need the pronunciation. This is I'll, I'll turn it down. Okay, this is I'll. And here is hang up, hang up. Okay, hang up. Good. Hang. Okay. All right. Good job. So now, now that we have a little bit of practice, a little bit of speaking, we're going to get to know each other. We're going to ask, okay, and answer each other some questions. Okay. For example, where do you work? What do you do? Why do you study English? What do you like? What you don't like? What are your hobbies? Okay. Like a little biography, a little information from my partners. Okay. Any questions? Everybody's ready? Ready. Okay. Perfect. So you have four minutes and four minutes. Four minutes to ask your partner and four minutes to answer your partner. In eight minutes, you're going to come back and we're going to talk about it. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs. Will for responding to requests. 
with nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know the two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two-part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts. A verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know the two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box 
one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two-part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts. A verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know that two-part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two-part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put. Okay, great. Now, did you learn anything about your partner? Anything that you'd like to share? Yes, yes, okay. I, I have something. Great. Okay, uh, uh, I was talking with uh, Stephanie Alejandra. So she preferred that the people Say Ale, Ale okay. or, or 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 her favorite name is Alejandra, right? So she lives in Sonsonate, and he he's she is studying um, English in the Universidad Modular. Okay, great. Okay, and. Universidad Modular, that's in Santa Ana, right? No, in Sonsonate. In Sonsonate. I, I, yeah. Okay. All right. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know either. I thought it was in Santa Ana. Okay. Great. Anybody else would like to share about their partner? Me to share. Mm -hmm. uh, well, my partner is Ana Francisca. She lives in Santa Tecla and she works in a transportation office. She's married. Uh, she has a dog and she, her favorite food is meat and Chinese food and chicken too. And she's um, 48 years old and her favorite color is purple. And she has four children. Um, what? Four. Four children. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yes, um, let me see. She likes action movie and she likes Coldplay and basketball is he is her favorite sport. That's okay. all. Great, thank you so much. Good. Uh, Jose, I, I heard you, she works in transportation, is that correct? Transportation office, she told me. Okay, okay, good, nice. Anybody else would like to share about their partner? Okay, then let's continue. All right, so let's go ahead and we continue on with our partner, with the activities. Here, we're going to be learning about two-part verbs. The two-part verbs are words specific that we need to put, we need to use the two words to have a special meaning. We're gonna watch first a small video and learn the new words that we have to use. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two-part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Okay, so first, let's look at these verbs. These are two verbs. For example, turn down, pick up, okay? Do you know what is turn down? Bahar. Good. This is the idea is reduce. So turn down is that volume or the sound is less. Good. What about pick up? What is the idea of pick up? Like juntar or recoger. No. That's right. Like the telephone, right? You pick up the telephone or the garbage, the things on the floor. This is also pick up. That's the idea, okay? So right there, you can see that we use with nouns, we use in the middle or at the end. The two forms are correct. With pronouns, he, she, it, for example, is not correct at the end. It's only correct in the middle. Let's watch the video and learn some more. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know that two-part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two-part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a okay, so what this means is that if you use the pronoun uh, I, you, we, he, she, it, they, only is correct in the middle, is not correct at the end, is not correct pick up him, only correct in the middle with pronouns. Final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back 
means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Okay, so the important is that with these words, you have to use them correctly because if you change, turn it down. As example here, for turn, if you turn down, is reduce. Turn up is increase. Turn off is no electricity, no TV. Turn on is to put on the TV. So the second part is very important you use correctly because you can change that meaning completely. It's okay. Okay. All right, good. So in this moment, what are we going to do? Well, you're going to look at the different things that we have on 1.4, and we're going to try to answer the questions. Okay. So let me share my screen with you so that we can see the images. Here we have many different objects. For example, we have the books, the toys, the radio, your jacket, the TV, your boots, the yard, the lights, the trash, and the dog. It's okay, all of these vocabulary words? Yes. So now with your partner, here we have many different phrasal verbs. You look at the picture and select which of the verb, which of the nouns is the correct to complete. And you're going to write down your answer with your partners. There are 10 words and you have 10 sentences. So all of them you're going to use only one time, okay? This is 1.4 with your partners. Any questions before you begin? No question. Okay. You have 10, you have five minutes to complete the 10 words. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two-part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two-part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. 
Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two-part verbs. Okay, let's check. What was number one? The books. The books. Pick up the books, please. Okay, good. Number two? Uh, I have oh, the lies. The lies. The lies. Cool, all right. Number three? Clean the trash. Clean the yard. Trash. Yard. The yard. Okay. Clean the yard. Okay. Number four. Oh, your jacket. Okay. Number five. The TV. Number six. Hasta ahí llegué. <laughs> sí, Good. sorry. That's okay, Wendy. No worries. What about number six? Anybody else? Your boots. Your boots. Your boots. Your boots. Your boots. Your books. Boots. Ah, boots. Boots. Thank you. Boots. Thank you. Okay. Number seven. The jacket. You, yeah. The jacket. Oh, your jacket. Your jacket. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, your jacket. We use number. You used your jacket in number four. No. 
The trash is number four. Please put a trash the, away. I don't know. The toy is number four. Okay. All right. We're going to try it. Don't worry. We're going to check in a moment. Number eight. The dog. I know. No, no. The trash. The trash. The trash. Okay. Number nine. The dog. The dog. Yeah. Yeah, the dog. Okay. And the last one. The radio. Radio. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Uh, so here it's correct. We can have many different options. Mm -hmm. All of these are correct. You can use pick up for anything that is on the floor. If it's on the floor and you need to put on the table or into the shelves, it's okay. For turn on, is anything electronic? For turn off or turn on. So. You can turn off the radio, the TV, and the lights. This is for to cut, to stop. But to clean only is correct the yard, okay? Put away, yes, we have many different things. It's like in the closet, okay? Or in the box, you put away. Number five, turn down is reduce. For electronics, you reduce the volume. So you can reduce the radio, turn down the radio, or turn down the TV. Excellent. Number six, only is only correct your boots. Number seven, it's only correct your jacket. Number eight is two, take out the trash or the dog. Number nine, only it's correct the dog and the last one for electronics remember turn on or turn off is anything electronic any questions Not it. no excellent now we're going to learn some new phrasal verbs here are some phrasal verbs. Jose Carlos, can you please read? Okay, pick up our thing, cut it out, drop me off, turn the radio up, put the phone down. Good, thank you very much. Are there any of the words that you don't know, any expressions that you don't understand? The second one. Cut it out. Cut it out yeah. means not to continue, is to stop doing. So if somebody says cut it out, it means stop it. Thank you. You're welcome. And the other ones are okay? Yes. And, and drop, drop, me off. drop me off. <laughs> drop me off is, for example, Jose has a car. And hey, Jose, where are you going? Oh, I'm going to uh, Santa Ana. Oh, can you drop me off in Metro Centro? Is can you leave me? Is the opposite of pick me up. So pick me up, collect me, drop me off, leave me. Dejar. Correct. This is drop off. The other ones are okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So everybody, let's repeat. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Good. Pick up. Cut out. Cut out. Cut out. Cut out. Cut out. Good. Cut out. Drop off. Drop, Drop off. off. Drop off. 
Correct. Turn up. Turn on. Turn. Repeat, Turn please. Up. Okay. Turn up. Turn, Turn up. up. Thanks. Turn up. Turn up. Turn, Turn up. up. Good. Put down. Put down. Put down. Put down. Great. Put down. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? It's simple. With your partners, you want to try to make sentences using this. You have five different phrasal verbs. And with your partner, you want to create five sentences. Okay? Five sentences in using the different phrasal verbs. So, for example, pick up. What can you say? Oh, as an example, my house is dirty. I have to pick up my shoes and put them in the closet. This is the idea. One sentence you, one sentence your partner. One sentence you, one sentence your partner. You want to use the five incomplete sentences. The idea is not small sentences, sentence with examples and details. It's okay. All right, let's try with our partners. Use all of those words, 1.6. Remember, this is 1.6, and use one sentence and one sentence.
Okay, let's see. Wendy, give me one example with pickup. Wendy, one example with pickup. We will pick you up at your house at 6, 6 p.m. Excellent, Wendy, that is correct. Cesar, one example with cut out. Me? No, okay. Cesar. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay, she is eating a lot of sugar. She could, uh, I don't know, but she, yeah, she could, could eat out. That is correct. Or remember okay. that it is the sugar. She could cut sugar out. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jose Isaias. Uh, okay, the number three, right? Yes. Okay, uh, let me see. Well, I don't have a car. Uh, can you drop me off in the university? Correct. Good. Jose Carlos, turn up. Turn the radio up. This this uh, the scene is my favorite. Okay, so so good. Not the scene is the singer. The, the singer, singer is my favorite, or this is my favorite song. This is my favorite song. Okay. Correct. Okay, Thank good. You. Thank you. Ale, put down. Okay, maybe Ale has a little bit of problems. Uh, Anna Lisette, put down. I am going to pick up my clothes and fold them. Repeat, Anna. I am going to pick up my clothes and fold them. That is correct, Anna, but you don't have pick up. You have put down. Okay. I am going to put down my clothes and fold them. Mm, is the same you say for pick up? Mm -hmm. What is put down, Nana? Mm. So Anna, put down is for example, look, the put down is I take my phone and I put on the table, on the table. Or, or I take my knife. I am cutting the, the tomatoes, the potatoes, and I put down the knife. Put down is to take and place a glass, a cup, the coffee. Ah, the coffee is hot. I'm going to put down the coffee. I'm going to put the coffee down. Is that okay, Anna? Uh, only things or oh, uh, put, put down sugar in the coffee? Oh, ah, coffee. No, for this is not correct. Uh -huh. Only the things, no in, no inside, oh, only the okay. things on. Only for the things on. I am put, uh, no, I am put down the... The books and the and the chair. Correct. That is correct, Anna. Mm -hmm. yeah. Elmer, pick up. Yeah. Okay, Elmer. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. Uh, pick up our clothes of the room. Make a sentence, Elmer. Uh, please pick up 
our clothes of the room. Good. Please pick up our clothes in the room. In the room. Okay. Good. Good. Ana Garcia, cut out. Okay, maybe Anna have the same problem as Ale. Okay, they two went to sleep. It's very late and it's time for us to finish the class. So maybe that's why they don't answer. Thank you guys so much for connecting and I will see you tomorrow and we'll practice. Remember, we completed up to 1.6, okay? Okay, okay. Good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.